dozens of collections. This was my life. Ron Moss, welcome to Perth. Thank you. Now, how did you get time off? I mean, Forrester Creations must be winning the battle against Spectra to let you come all the way here. I just told them I was leaving. You just told them you were leaving like That's that? That's right. And the That's reaction right. was? Okay. What's it like to live in this make-believe world, a world where your wife returns from the dead? I mean, the storylines really are quite bizarre. What's bizarre about them? Well, they're not everyday stuff, lives. Sure they are. You reckon? Oh, yeah. In America, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, every, all that stuff happens in America all the time. And a dose of reality recently. What can you tell us about the gunman who stormed the studio? That was, uh, that was pretty interesting, and actually it was uh, pretty sad as well. But we were in the middle of taping a scene at the end of the day. Uh, we took a five-minute break for the crew. Hunter, who I was doing the scene with, went off to the bathroom, and our cameraman comes running into the studio going, there's a guy with a gun out in the hallway. Get everybody get out of the studio. Maybe it's a real stupid sort of part of me, but I don't get scared in those kind of situations. I kind of think, how can we solve this? And did you? No, because at that point, the heavy artillery was coming in with the uh, SWAT team and all the guys were coming in with the full, full on stuff. It was, it was a major, it was like there was a coup going on. Has it changed you at all to experience it? No, no. Unfortunately, that's part of daily LA life. Now, you're one of the original cast members. You signed up in 87, 15 years. It's a long time. It's unbelievable that I was there past about the two-year mark I thought I would be. I thought either the show would last maybe two years or I'd last two years and go on and do something else. Um, but that 15 years has gone by like two. Well, considering how many actors spend a lot of time out of work, it must be a godsend in the business. It's a great day job, yeah. It is. And you're not tired of playing the same character? Sometimes you do get tired of it, yeah. Yeah. How do you keep up the interest? Playing little mind games with myself. Little things, little tricks you use. I can't describe them because they're mine. Well, more than 450 million viewers watch your program every day. What is it about Bold that makes it so appealing, do you think? I have no idea. I really don't. That's an intangible element. That's one of those things that you can't predict. If you could, everybody would be doing it. And um, it's just one of those things you, rather than try to define it, I kind of let, let it go so you don't jinx it. How often do people forget you're Ron Moss and not Ridge? Uh, probably half the time. Yeah. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Do you feel like you're losing your identity? Your not identity? at all. Not at all. I take that stuff with a grain of salt. Obviously, the, all the things I've done here... It's kind of shown that I just don't, I don't take it all that seriously. I, I take what I do seriously when I'm on camera, when I'm working and all that stuff. But the character and the show and the storylines and all that, it's just, it's just entertainment. Okay, well, Ridge is the kind of guy who goes about life and his job with a maximum amount of fuss. How much of Ridge is in Ron Moss? Not much at all. No, not anymore. Not anymore. When I started the character, I maybe tried to infuse a bit of Ron in there to, to develop the character, but uh, now there isn't one iota of anything left. It's just... Uh, that's why it's so easy to kind of take the piss out of Ridge, because he's, you know, to me, he's such a buffoon. Well, you've come here to Perth to show us a very different side to the Ron Moss most of us have come to know. What can we expect to see? Music, hopefully. Just me doing my music and having fun, which I am. I'm definitely having fun. Now, before we wrap up, spill the beans. Will Ridge and Brooke ever get back together again? That's probably one of the most asked questions I get. And I would actually love that to happen in a story way. Because I don't think Ridge and Brooke ever got a chance to really pursue their relationship. We were pulled back so often. Every time we would just about get into something nice, we'd be pulled back to tease the audience. I think we teased them ad nauseum until nobody wanted to know about it anymore. They'd had it, you know, and, and we had had it too. We went one more damn time, and we're all gonna just, you know, void ourselves right here on the floor. 